You describe the team's mood after a second straight loss and, and really getting badly beaten here at Indiana. Um, I mean, it's not good. Nobody, none of us, we're all competitive. No, none of us like to win. No one likes to win. I mean, likes to lose. Um, <clears throat> but we just know that we have to just come out and just keep building. We just have to keep, you know, betting on those steps, getting better where we need to. All right, we're open for questions if anyone has anything. Aaron, Isaiah. Can I go again? Sure, go ahead. Mike, how are you guys keeping your heads up after this, though? I mean, this was, uh, you know, they had, the Penix had a record day passing against this defense. Um, I mean, we, we just know that everything, all the problems that we're having, they're simple fixes. There's something we can all, you know, that we know what the problem is and we all just have to, you know, come together as a team and just fix them. Like just keep our, keep our head down, keep grinding and, you know, continue to get better. We have a lot of young guys who, you know, who don't have that experience who, and we just have to continue to just hold ourselves accountable and keep getting better. Um, Isaiah, go ahead. Mike, well, you said that you know what those uh, the sim those simple problems are. What are they? What do you what do you what has kind of been going wrong offensively? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that it was just things going wrong. It's just things that we're not doing right. Uh, things that you know, simple, just small things that uh, I, I I can't really put a direct point on it, but just, just small things that could easily be fixed, things that we know to do or things we know not to do, like just the, all the flags, all the penalties that were called, we know like you can, jumping off sides, the pass interference, just all the little things we all just know better and we have to do better. I'd like to follow up, why are, why are these issues mounting up, same way the penalties and, yeah, and just the pass interference and all that kind of stuff? Um, I can't say. I, I I feel like it's just guys. I mean, we all just have to lock in. We all know that we have to lock in every snap. We it's a it's a four quarter game. We all have to be locked in every snap, and we we know that, and we just have to adjust. Brian Zook, go ahead. Michael, do you think in practice this week that, that you guys were addressing some of the issues that, that plagued you against Michigan State? Did you feel like you had a good fix from, from uh, the game against the Spartans heading into today? Um, yeah, I feel like we, we added some, some new coverages, some new you know, schemes just to fill those, those gaps that we were missing when we played Michigan State. And I feel like we had a good play, a good um, – I'm looking for the word. I can't think of a word, but a good game plan. Game plan. That's the word. Thank you. A good game plan coming into the game. And uh, I just feel like we just didn't produce enough. We didn't, the productivity wasn't where it needed to be. Didn't make enough plays. All right. Thanks, Ryan. We got one last one for Mike for Aaron McMahon. Aaron, go ahead. Mike, do you get a sense that the issues are cascading? I mean, it's one thing to, like, give up a big play, but then multiple every game. Is, is, do, you, do you get a sense that, like, once one happens, it, it, it's kind of a cascading effect from there? Um, no, not really. I just feel like um, we have guys that can make those plays. We know that we trust them to make those plays. And – Everybody makes their mistakes, and we just tell them keep their head up and keep it, keep it moving, and we'll just continue to just get better. Continue to every day, every practice, we're gonna continue to work on all the things that we know that we need to that need to be fixed, and just keep getting better. That's all I can say.